Excellencies, distinguished participants, it is my distinct honor to address the inaugural Blue Africa Summit. My only regret is that I am not able to join you in person, despite my keen interest in strengthening Africa's maritime domain. Let me commend the Kingdom of Morocco's esteemed leadership in championing the vision of His Majesty King Mohammed the sixth, to make the Africa maritime space a zone of peace, stability, and shared prosperity for all. Contriving to create, nurture, and sustain peace must be the centerpiece of our work in these times. His Majesty's vision aptly resonates with the theme I have chosen for the 78th session of the General Assembly. The maritime city of Tangier, at the confluence of the Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, and spanning both Africa and Europe, is the ideal place to host this august gathering. Indeed, Africa has emerged as a significant oceanic power boasting 30,000 kilometers of coastline in 37 coastal states. Its maritime routes, which once linked ancient empires, today increasingly transport people, energy, food, and maritime resources across three oceans. On the continent, some 200 million people live within 50 kilometers of the coast a figure set to double by 2030, and a reality that makes the maximization of its dynamic maritime potential vitally important to Africa's future development. This is especially true as sea level rise continues to pose an existential threat to its low-lying coastal areas. Excellencies, this summit's emphasis, therefore, on the blue economy as an integral aspect of Africa's broader regional integration agenda comes at an extremely opportune moment. The blue economy can be a strong driver of sustainable and inclusive growth and development, providing crucial livelihoods and job opportunities for many and thus helping to boost the food security needs of millions on the continent and potentially abroad. To optimize the prospects, all potentially viable sustainable financing models should be explored based on local needs and priorities. Ocean protection and management plans stand a better chance of success when scientific expertise is integrated with citizen and stakeholder engagement. Excellencies, distinguished participants, as I close, let me remind that Africa is a cradle of human civilization and a continent of great promise for peace, human rights, prosperity, and development. Realizing that promise requires that we urgently address the obstacles hindering its progress to achieve the 2030 and 2063 agendas. I therefore encourage all stakeholders, national and local authorities, civil society and the private sector to forge strong partnerships that address the challenges in Africa's maritime domain and aligning these efforts with those of the African Union and other regional and international organizations. In this regard, I look forward to participating at the upcoming AU Summit to share further thought with the leaders. And I urge development partners to seize the opportunity offered by this critical Blue Africa Summit to scale up investments in the continent's sustainable development. Together, let us ensure that no country on the continent is left behind. 
in our unrelenting quest for peace, prosperity, progress, and sustainably for all. I thank you.